Hi there and welcome to the Water Report, your weekday gaming news for December 7, 2016. Sony Interactive Entertainment has today announced that PlayStation 4 has sold through more than 50 million units to consumers worldwide as of December 6, having enjoyed the best ever Black Friday week in the history of PlayStation. These sales also include PlayStation 4 Pro. PS4 software sales saw more than 369.6 million copies sold in retail, globally and through digital downloads since the launch of the PlayStation 4. The PlayStation 4 has managed to sell 50 million units a full year and a half faster than the PlayStation 3. Telltale has announced that Batman The Telltale Series Episode 5 City of Light will release on December 13 for PC, PlayStation and Xbox. The episode will also be available for iOS and Android on the same day. In addition, Episode 1 Realm of Shadows is now free to download for PC via Steam. Star Wars Battlefront will be added to EA Access's vault on December 13. Subscribing for $19.99 a year gets you access to all the games in the vault as well as early access, exclusive demos, betas and trials. Currently there are 38 games in the vault, with Battlefront becoming the 39th. EA Access does seem great value, although it's currently only available on Xbox One, although PC does have a similar service known as Origin Access. Don't forget that the new Rogue One Scarif DLC is out now for Battlefront Season Pass holders, while PSVR owners can download the X-Wing mission for free. Battleborn has a new huge winter update which makes plenty of changes. These include all 25 characters unlocking immediately after completing the prologue, character unlock challenges being rebalanced, story mode missions being overhauled to be more rewarding, the addition of two new training modes and various other fixes. The winter update also adds PS4 Pro support to Battleborn, allowing players to opt for 1080p at 60 frames per second or 4K at 30 frames per second. Square Enix has announced plans to patch Final Fantasy XV with additional story sequences, new playable characters and possibly the introduction of a new Game Plus mode. A variety of free updates designed to improve the game are planned to roll out throughout the coming year, helping enrich certain aspects of the game adding gameplay enhancements for Chapter 13, buffing ring magic and more. Ubisoft has opened via registration for Ghost Recon Wildlands. For a chance to take part, all you need to do is sign up with your Uplay account on the Ghost Recon website which we've linked below and select your platform of choice. Once that is done, you'll receive an email shortly before the beta begins to let you know if you've been selected. A start date for the beta has yet to be announced. The Overwatch Christmas festivities start on Tuesday 13th December. The Overwatch Christmas event brings theme loot boxes, character skins, sprays, emotes, intros, voice lines and more. There could also be seasonal events such as bespoke game modes and maybe some Christmas theme music too. The Nintendo Switch will offer increased gaming performance when you place it in the dock. According to Let's Play Video Games, a source told them that the dock allows the machine to work at a higher clock speed with the innards being killed by an additional fan found inside the housing. This allows the Switch to achieve better 1080p resolutions when hooked up to a TV. It's believed that on the go, Switch supports 720p resolutions. It's also been confirmed that USB-C support will come as standard for the Switch, as seen by recently leaked accessories. CCP Games has launched the Gate Crash update for Eve Valkyrie on HTC Vive, PlayStation VR and Oculus Rift. Gate Crash is the third major free expansion for EVE Valkyrie and introduces new gameplay features, a pilot customization system and a new multiplayer gateway map. The Gate Crash update also brings support for PlayStation 4 Pro, enabling enhanced visuals and improved performance. Thanks for joining us for this latest water report. Please remember to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thanks for now. Bye.